Sad to see how I'm do without her In this big bad world all on his own He circled every job in the papers Life forces a man to be strong Husband and Wife is the name of the single from the Billy Gudgeon Band, and I'm pleased to say that Billy joins us. Congratulations on the new music, mate. It must be a real buzz. It is, absolutely. Been a long time coming, but we finally got there. We got somewhere, at least. This is a really nice song. Tell us about how it came together. It was just one of those songs that just kind of come to me, uh, I guess, just in the shower. But look, it's, it's really inspired from the story, I guess, my brother and many of my mates uh, who are single fathers been out there kind of battling doing it by themselves it was wasn't lost on me when i sort of was writing it uh, not to take away from some of the amazing single mothers out there but the one thing that women kind of do so well that blokes don't do during tough times they they're able to sort of come together sit around and and basically vent their feelings and and their emotions whereas blokes you know it's kind of crack a beer and punch each other on the on the shoulder and say should be right plenty of fish in the sea so that's kind of where that whole idea come from and it just I guess it just, once I started, it just kind of splurted out onto the paper. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with that, and my family and everything are very happy with it. So I'm, I'm glad that I was able to share it with them. Take us back to the start of the Billy Gudgeon Band and how you got into music, first of all, and the formation of the band. I'm originally from a small town called Golgong, Midwestern Tablelands. I've been performing since I was really, really young. My, my family was sort of shoved me into music. They heard my voice and just kind of encouraged me into doing it. So I, I moved up to the northern New South Wales when I was about 17 and then got my first solo gig just playing at, at a local restaurant. I played for quite a few years just solo and kind of got a little bit bored of it. So I threw an ad up on Gumtree and ended up meeting up with a fellow called Dale. So Dale and I formed the band originally together. He's been with me now for four years, as has the drummer, Bootsy. The fellow who played guitar and piano on the song is named Phil Brandolini. He's recently just left us, but um, together we've been playing for about four years, and it's really been a slow ride, but it's been building and building, and we're very fortunate to be able to be doing what we're doing, especially in these times, of course. What about the background of music for all of you? Was it the same upbringing on music, or was it something more eclectic that brought you together? No, definitely not. No, it was just a matter of circumstance, I guess. I very much grew up in a country world, so, you know, we had land. I grew up around horses and sheep and cattle and pastures and all that kind of stuff. So country's just kind of in my blood. It's what my dad always played. Whereas the other boys, you know, my drummer Bootsy, um, he grew up from a grunge kind of a world. So late 90s, he's really into the Nirvana and that kind of stuff. And then Dale, he, he's really into, you know, the 70s rock type stuff. And Phil, the guitarist, is a jazz kind of a player. So just a really, really eclectic set of musicians there that, I don't know, just kind of come together. Opposites kind of attract and it seems to be working. So we're, we're a good bunch of mates. It's, it's a funny little world. Everyone ends up in country music at some stage, mate. Oh, absolutely. Yep. It gets into the blood. And it's funny that, you know, especially my drummer, because he's from that really hardcore old school rock and grunge and that kind of a thing. He's just said, you know, he's always been a closet country lover. So uh, he's, it's really come out of him now. He's, he's absolutely loving it. He's turning up to the gigs in the boots and everything and uh, fitting, considering his name's Bootsy. So <laughs> what's on the plans for the remainder of this year and 2022 for the Billy Gudgeon Band? At the moment, the remainder of this year is just kind of right at the wave of what's going on with COVID. It's a bit of a tough time for us musicians. We don't really know what's going to happen from week to week. If it wasn't for that, we are currently booked out for the rest of the year. We're just playing locally around the northern New South Wales, playing gigs. I've just had a new guitarist has joined us since Phil has moved away, Dale Corbell. So the plans basically, while we can't be performing, we're going to be writing. We're going to be trying to get into the studio at some point, hopefully by the end of the year into early next year and uh, start putting out some more music. Our next little plan is to try and put out something that's a little bit more upbeat, up-tempo, and that kind of reflects what we're like to come and see. Uh, if anyone pops out and sees us play live, you know, it's an in-your-face kind of a show. So it's certainly country rock, whereas um, what we, husband and wife, the single that's just come out, a mellow type thing. So we want to get something out there that's going to reflect what we kind of do and, and the party that we sort of bring. 
If people want to follow the journey, what's the best way for them to do that? We're very, very busy on Facebook. We do have an Instagram. So Facebook is the Billy Gudgeon Band. Instagram is just at Billy Gudgeon Band. We also have a website, which uh, I need to be updating a little bit more regularly, but uh, it is currently up to date with all our upcoming gigs and that kind of a thing. We are very active on social media, especially Facebook. We've always got our events and that kind of a thing coming up. And we're going to play the single now. It's called Husband and Wife, and this is the Billy Gudgeon Band. Why don't the fathers get the credit When they're forced to play the husband and the wife It's written on his face that he's not sleeping 